Hey there, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to solve another machine coding round question. This question was not asked in any interview, but um, I had found this on the web and I found it really interesting. Um, simple problem yet it's so tricky and so complex that uh, solving this sometimes can be a tedious task and it's not easily doable especially for ST2, ST3 levels um, but if you are experienced or if you have done something similar in your work history then you can definitely solve this but sometimes you encounter problems like this that keeps you blank because you are not sure how to implement this so that's why we are going to solve this today and let's see um, how you can create a switch case component in react i all i have already recorded a video around this long back but uh, i decided to solve this again before jumping into the problem statement and then solving it i just want to give you a heads up that if you are preparing for your front end interviews do check out my course alpha.learnersbucket.com uh, here you will find everything that you need to prepare for your interviews all the problem statement covering different interview rounds and as well as company wise question sets that you can go through and prepare for your interviews. So if you are preparing or um, looking to make a change, do check out my course once enrolled, you get lifetime access to it. Let's close this bar so that we get a good view of the description. If you see it over here, we have to implement a switch case component. This is similar to the switch case in the programming but here it will be created as a custom component and if you see we have the switch component that accepts a value and then we have case components the case components whichever case is passing the condition will be rendered that's it and then we have a default case so simply how switch case works but it is implemented in react the default case is compulsory because this is the fallback if you don't have it you will not see anything so the default case is compulsory and then you can have as many custom cases as you want and then the value of the custom cases could either be a function or a primitive value so the function will get the switch value as argument and then based on that it can process it and it can return a boolean true or false and depending upon if it is true then the children of this case will be rendered otherwise it will be rejected so we have to create this let me copy this const app from here and let's shrink this area and now i'll paste it function app from here to here and let me clear this and this too and we have to implement this now the first thing that you get into your mind when you see this is you can solve this using context so you can create a context in the custom switch component and then you can store the value that value can be accessed by custom case and then it can do the processing and depending upon whether it is passing or not it can render the accepted children that's the one way to solve this but that becomes little complex there's another way to solve this which is fairly straightforward and that explores your understanding of how react works internally so in react what we see over here is jsx jsx is javascript style xml so we write javascript functions as a xml syntax which is representing the html elements but ultimately this is transpiled to javascript objects only so this will be converted to a javascript object and you can access it as a javascript object that's why the functions can be created and passed around so using that mechanism we can implement the custom switch and the custom case components in the custom switch we can iterate over all the children that it gets and we can see what's the type of the children 
whether it is custom case or default case. For the custom case, we'll check if the value is of type function or primitive. For the primitive, we'll do equality check. For the functions, we'll pass the value and see what's the output we are getting and based on that, we'll be rendering the elements. So let's do that. Let's first create the custom switch component. So const custom switch and this will accept two values. One is children. It can have any count of children and second is the value. And then we have to iterate over these children to find out which all case inside this switch are passing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two different array cases let's call them past cases and then const default case default case will be a single value but I'm just creating an array and now we have to iterate over the children so to iterate over the children JavaScript pro uh, sorry react provides a helper method called children with capital C so these children you can use to iterate over the children's that a component receives so here children dot for each children and then the children will be accessed in this callback function here we'll add a check if e dot type dot name equals to equals to custom case which means this is a custom case children so this will be converted to an object i'll print the object and show you let's do it right away only console dot log E if it is not throwing an error this is throwing error because custom case is not defined let's define that custom case const custom case children and this will basically return the children as it is You can also access the value but we don't need it the usage of value is in the custom switch component that's why i'm not destructuring it over here in case if you are following the use context way to solve this then you'll have to access the value here but otherwise you don't need to so the custom case and default case is defined and now let's see if it is being printed so see we are getting this object printed this is the representation of JSX as object and here on the type you get this property name that gives us the name of the component so we can use this and we can also access the props as objects prop has value and children two things is being received as props so we can use that so here I am using the name on the type to check what's the type of the component and then based on that i'm going to check if type of e dot props dot value equals to equals to function then we have to pass e dot props dot value we have to invoke this as a function by passing the value of the switch component to it and if it returns true then in the past cases we will add this current component of the custom case because this has passed so this has to be rendered if it is not of type function then we'll add an equality check if value equals to equals to e dot prop dot props dot value and if it is passing then also we will pass the this current children to the past cases 
if this is of type camel case and then we'll also have of the type default case so we are just concerned about two cases custom cases and then the default case and here in the default case we are going to push the e so we are just segregating the past custom cases and the default case now that you have segregated you have to check if there are any past custom cases and it is greater than zero then you have to return the past cases otherwise you have to return the default cases that's it so this is how you can implement the custom switch now let me clear this and let's see what is being printed we are seeing 40 as print 40 is from the default case that is because in the custom case one let me rename this as custom case one let's copy this and rename everything else two three four and default case and here it will be four three and two here default case is generated because when it goes to custom case 1 here it is checking e is less than 10 because the value is passed as string so this fails that's why this is not rendered this also fails because this is string 20 and if you are comparing with 1000 so this will also fail this will also fail and this will also fail that's why all these custom cases are not rendered and only default case is rendered let's update the value let's change it from the string to number and see if the first case is rendered save this and then reload it's still rendering the default case so here is being passed let's see what happened if the value here we are passing the value if the e dots props dot value and then if it is rendered we are passing the past cases so let's see what we are getting in the cases we are reaching here or not when if i reload it's not updating console dot log inside Connecting We are not reaching here Let's test here Are we reaching? So we got 8 insights which means we are reaching till here But somehow we are not reaching here let's check if we are reaching yeah so we are reaching here as well what's our condition so if e is less than 10 so because this is thousand this is not less than 10 that's why it's not being printed my bad we can say if e is greater than 10 then custom case one is printed and here also we can change it to numeric value thousand so yeah one and two both are printed and let's say if i change this to some other condition e and if e is divisible by two so we got the custom case three as well this is being printed so i guess this is working fine so this is how you can implement the custom switch case component with little understanding of how react works internally this is a tricky question but something interesting to solve. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for your time.